spawn. Beware! As you say, it will be done. Can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent and broken, mostly broken. We have the shot of the Illuvian, but we still need the lights of our Lathen. We should head to Kadash Tide when you're ready to leave. So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. I just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. Haven't heard from him since his last attempt. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. A fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? This is it, according to the maps. Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. I hate to say it, but yes. We wouldn't be able to see the lights of our Lathen if they were right under our noses. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane. We need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. 
Um, blood doesn't power the spell. It's just a component. It's certainly a gray area. So let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? Four of us. You share the same blood as the Alathan elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Ah! My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Alathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? Vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the lights of Alathan. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? I always thought dwarves must be dull without magic, but this place is amazing. It Something's here. The statue was capable of being literal. Dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? I 
should study dwarven history when I return. Oh, what's that? Of some kind of history. Where's my notebook? Oh, sorry. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter, in this darkness, to the elves who fled Arlathan. I have a good feeling about this spot. not have been comfortable hiding under so much stone. If you hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves, and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I meant the dog. It's like standing in a field of stars, and they're showing us... 